Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Does the narcissist recognize your worth? They recognize the value that you can contribute to their narrative as being a character in their play. But you're only valuable for the role that you can fulfill in validating their false self. Other than that, you serve no purpose. They don't recognize your worth unless you're doing exactly what they want you to do when they want you to do it and in the exact way that they want it to be done. Otherwise you're useless and worthless to them. They just view you as garbage, which is why they will treat you with contempt. Because you're beneath their consideration, you don't matter to them. They don't need you unless you can validate the picture-perfect image that they are trying to portray. And even then, it has to be on their terms. It has to play out the way they see it in their minds. And it has to be at the exact moment that they need you. Because they do need you. If they didn't need you, they wouldn't have targeted you. But just because they need you, it doesn't mean that they always recognize your worth. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. It all depends on their needs and their feelings, which can change from one moment to the next. So they need different things in different situations, some of which can be contradictory which is why they typically have multiple sources of supply that they compartmentalize because it's highly unlikely that one source would be able to fill all of their desires and needs. They have these insatiable desires that can never be fulfilled and it's why they're always miserable. They're never satisfied. So you're really just wasting your time by offering something to them that is helpful or valuable because they're not going to be able to appreciate or understand it. At least not consistently over a longer period of time. They're going to get bored and then they're going to want something else. They're going to go looking for the bigger, better deal, the next shiny new toy because they're convinced that there's always going to be something better out there. Someone who is more susceptible and naive. Someone who will do exactly what they want them to do. And once you've already revealed to a narcissist that you are human and you have flaws and you make mistakes just like everyone else, they're never going to see you the same way and then they're going to seek to idealize someone else. Which means that by that point, nothing you do is ever going to be enough. Even if you finally manage to achieve exactly what they always demanded of you, by that point, it will already be too late. When they first targeted you, they recognized your value. They may have left you waiting for a certain amount of time, but initially they were aggressively pursuing you and they were love bombing you because they were expecting something in return. They already knew that you had something they could benefit from. So they recognized your worth. They were just undeserving of you, but they wanted a piece of the action. So they pursued you they seek your favor and support. They try to attract you because they knew that you have value. And once they had you, they were then able to enjoy the benefits and rewards 
but I come from being with you. But they're thieves. They steal from you secretly because they're only pretending to want something meaningful. They're pretending to want to be connected with you when they're only there to rob you of your qualities and virtues, to take whatever they deem to be beneficial to them, which is why they manipulate you and lie to you, because that's the only way they can get anything from you. They're unworthy and undeserving. They don't deserve anything that you have, but they act arrogant and entitled so they think they should have whatever they want, which is how they justify and rationalize getting it from you. They see it as though if they can trick and deceive you to then deprive you of what you have, then that's what they're going to do, where they're not even deserving of any of that. And deep down they know they're not deserving they're actually very insecure, which is why they act so arrogant and entitled. Because it's a front, it's an, an act, it's a deceptive outward appearance to compensate for their insecurities and deficiencies. Which is why when all is said and done, you will be the one who is left wondering if they ever appreciated you, or if they think about everything you did for them. When yes, of course they do, but they're not thinking about love or romance. They're just thinking they came up while they were with you because they separate your qualities and possessions from you. They don't view it as a part of you. So they're only thinking about what they gained from you. It has nothing to do with value or love, especially once they've gotten what they wanted from you. They just see it as though they had a good time, as though it was an event, rather than connecting and getting to know a person, as that's how it's so easy for them to leave you, because it has nothing to do with emotional feelings. You didn't mean anything to them, because they were robbing you. They just saw it as though they had won in this situation by being with someone who is more attractive, more successful, or more wealthier than they are, while pretending that they're in a relationship with you or a marriage. So they're not thinking of you. They're just missing the benefits, especially when they're doing worse in their next situation. That's when they will start missing what they had with you, but not missing you. They're incapable of experiencing love and they're unable to recognize the true value of a person because they weren't there to build with you. They were only there to take from you. And you could be the most valuable person in the world, but what difference does it make if a person can't even see it. You might as well have no value at all if you are giving yourself to someone who doesn't value you. But what you have is valuable. You're giving your time, energy, empathy, love, compassion and understanding. You're giving yourself. In a world where most people are not willing to give these things honestly and sincerely, so what you have is extremely valuable, but it means nothing to people who don't value them. It's the same as throwing these things in the garbage, which is why you must respect these things that you have by giving them to people who truly appreciate and recognize their value. Because although narcissists may treat what you're offering as not valuable, that doesn't mean it's not valuable. A person could see a $100 bill on the ground and not think that it's a $100 bill. But whether they know it or not, that's still 
$100. So that's their loss. It means they're not going to get all of the value that they could have gotten, which makes them a fool. It doesn't affect the value of the bill at all. It just means that they undervalued it. They considered it to be less valuable and important than it really is. Which is exactly the same situation as when we're dealing with narcissists. All they're going to do is destroy all of your good qualities in their eagerness and determination to attack you and to make you feel like you're worthless even though it doesn't actually reveal anything about your value. It just means that they fail to recognize your value. So you need to stop giving yourself to someone who can't recognize the value of what they're being given. Because if they can't recognize it, they're never going to appreciate it. Which means they're not worth your energy and effort. They're not worth your investment because you're not going to get an ROI. You're not going to get anything of equal value in exchange for what you're giving out. Which is why you should decide to not give to them anymore. It's essentially the same as giving someone a loan when they never pay you back. You may think you're going to feel bad for not giving them what they want but you'll likely feel worse if you give it to them when you don't really want to and they still don't pay you back. And they don't appreciate it, but they still keep asking, keep asking you. Which is going to be the same experience as when you're giving them your time, love, energy, and wisdom. If you want it to be appreciated, you need to recognize who you're giving it to because everything is not for everyone. You need to have something of value to recognize something of value. So not everyone is going to be able to recognize what you have to give because maybe they don't have anything of value of their own. So they can't recognize the value in you, which is why you need to be sensible and you need to show good judgment because anything valuable you give to a narcissist is going to be wasted. So instead of expecting them to value it, you need to value it and stop giving it to someone who can't recognize its value. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.